Hey, speaking of getting smoked, Brandy, how do you feel about talking about um, what was that mission? The was it Red Wing? What they call that mission when you got went out there when you guys were attached to that uh, that Ranger platoon and you guys were like on that hike. What was that called? Red, Red Wings. Red Wings. Yeah. Rescue and Latrell. Yeah, yeah. I tell people I tell people that story all the time, and they can't imagine that they because they see that movie and then they talk they hear you know all this stuff and no. I'm not trying to take away anything from the actual guys that are on the ground, but it's amazing how your piece gets left out, of, like almost exclusively, like 100% of the time. Like nobody even talks about what you guys did and the great lengths it took to even get to that point. You know, I mean, it's just, I don't know. Do you, do you want to elaborate on that at all? Kind of maybe from yeah, somebody who was there? I, yeah, I will. The, the, um, our team. You don't have to talk. I mean, you can just like yeah, tell your no, side. We're, no, we're so we. Internally, we talked about this a lot, especially after the book came out. And um, I've talked to uh, Rob O'Neill a few times. Uh, he, he was on on that mission as well. Well, he started out on that mission. Um, but um, yeah, there, mean? I mean, there's there's a lot that that happened that was never in the book, and there was a lot that was in the book that never happened. Yeah. Um, so. Um, uh, you know, as far not to cut you off, but in, just in in his defense, he might not have known that the great detail about what you guys did. So that might have been well, why it's not, well, not in that. Had, book, you know? We did have a, one of his snipers and his medic that walked with us. Oh, okay, so, so not all of them got helicoptered off. So, um, so that they came um, to our talk. We was in, uh, out of um, Assad Bad. I'm sorry, J Bad that time, and. They, they actually stopped by our talk because they were going up to do their mission and they were told to get our ComSec fields because our, our fields and their fields were different and they, in case they, they needed it because they went there by themselves. So they went there and um, uh, they their comms guy actually stopped. They're like, well, you know, the JTAC's got the, you know, does our ComSec. So, you know, I, I filled the radios for them uh, for the, on the bird. Actually, Took a picture of them that uh, I found later on on a freaking old drive one day. I'm like, holy crap! Wait, is this the original four that went out or the yeah? The, the, yeah, okay. yeah I, okay. I'll send it to you. But I've got a picture of them there at JBAD before they got on the bird to go up there. Um, and I remember talking with them about some of the basics that we always, you know, do you, is your hub battery good? Um, All right. Because I'm like, you know, if I feel this I, before I even feel it, I'm like, is your hub battery good? Because if I feel it and you turn it off, you're going to lose your, your, your field. And they're like, you know, oh, our radio guys take care of our radios for them. I'm like, all right. So I went ahead and filled them anyway. So they go up there. And uh, so we were packed up to leave. We, we were, our rotation was done. We were, we were within one day of leaving. So all of our stuff was in our ISU. I was, I was with uh, team two, RD team two at the time. No, I remember because I really, our team relieved your team right after you did that. And I was like, oh, and we, I can't remember what we did, but it wasn't anything compared to what you guys did. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're, we're literally sat there and me and Dylan and uh, John Green and Harper, we're like throwing football and stuff and not knowing that, uh, you know, the helicopter just got shot down because they were looking for, for, for the team. And yeah. As soon as we heard helicopter got shot down, the the weather rolled in. And so, so we're sitting there uh, and so we walk in the top and we're like, Hey, what's going on? And I think McChrystal was, was there at the time and they couldn't, they didn't want to send another helicopter up there. So the, we got a call down from, from the big talk or from the jock and, and they're like, Hey, tell um, RD to unpack their shit. They're going to walk up the mountain. So we're like, all right. So we, we looked at you guys start. Did you get, did they drive it to a point and then we, you started we drove, walking or so we, we drove to Asadabad from Jalalabad and uh, we started walking from there and um, Graham Ferris He's got a cool map he made of showed the, the whole the whole route that we end up walking. Man. Um, so we start walking and we start out with uh, an ODA uh, assault team from um, SEAL Team Six. Uh, we had a platoon from two seven five, and then uh, our team. Um, and then there was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, two ODAs. One was a guard team that didn't make it 100 meters, um, and then the the active duty ODA. So we we crested our first two our first ridge was about two thousand feet uh straight up. We got to the point in um the ODAs and we still had, you know, probably another 15, 20 miles straight line distance 
um, up and down. It was probably a little over 40 miles. Um, but the SEAL Team 6 and the ODA, they they were done. They they called for helicopters, and they're like, we're, really? we're done. Um, and so we got on, we, you know, did the Ranger thing that, uh, so we got on, on the sat and we're like, Hey, we can still make it. Like we can, we can, we'll walk it. And they said the only way that they would let us walk it is if your JTAC maintain comms with the A-10s the entire time. So I'm robbing batteries from the guys who are about to get helicopter off. And so we're, so everybody on my team had at least, you know, four extra batteries for me. And then, then of course, you remember that was the HPW at the time. So we had, yeah. the, had a little computer, I had the 117. We didn't have any body armor. So uh, all we had was our. God, our, just think if you did have body armor, man, you guys have been. Sweating. Yeah. So we had our, we had our out there. And, and then we yeah. had. Uh, it was a fox, not a golf, too, right? At that it was a fox. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so, so we start yeah, walking. Yeah. Not and, the small uh, one. And we had uh, Major Scott was actually with, was with us on a walk and we had a, a sniper from, from blue and um, one of their medics, his name is, his main name is Rip. Uh, he's a PA now. I, I still keep in touch with him. Um, so we just started walking. Har Harper led, led the, uh, led the nav and we walked uh, all the way there. And so it was nonstop. So we, we ran out of, ran out of water. We use all of our IVs for hydration Every I time. remember that picture. I've seen that picture where, like, there's a bunch of dudes and when somebody's like holding an IV bag and that, so kind of... not, so O'Neill's in that picture. So that that was the the top of the first hill. <laughs> oh no shit. Yeah. So <clears throat> so we're walking the ridge lines, and and JSOP kept trying to airdrop us freaking pallets. So we'd see it come out of the bird, and it float down. So we're on the ridge, and then it float down there. So we're like, yeah, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> So I'm not they, going finally, down they finally brought one on a helicopter and, and we got water, but it was like nonstop walking, walking, walking. Um, well, yeah, if Harper was leading, I could, yeah, he's probably like, let's go. We're doing this. And, yeah, you know, yeah. and he, you're not gonna yeah, such a hard charger, man. Yeah. <clears throat> so we get to um, probably a ridge away. And according to the map that we had, we, if they were probably tracking us the whole way and, so what, what I didn't know at the time until I found it later when somebody else wrote a book was um, they fast roped um, uh, Sergeant, member Sergeant G from 375, but he was at 275, his first Sergeant. Yep, Kansas. yep. So he was first Sergeant there. So they fast rope with um, the dudes from from the SEALs that got helicoptered off. They fast roped in on, on the other side. So so they we were walking this way and they were walking this way. Um, so we, we were got up to the ridge and again, I had A10s the whole time for like three days straight. And <laughs> so we we saw the helicopter burning, like it, it was burning nonstop. And mm -hmm. so Harper thought, and so we're sitting there, we did the, kind of like a leader's huddle. And we're like, we're walk, we walked the ridge the whole time. So if someone was there, that they saw us coming from, you know, a day off. Right. So, so we kind of picked a spot to where we thought, if they were going to ambush us, this is probably where it's going to be because there's going to be a lip we got to come up over to get to where the crash was. And as soon as we crest that, we're, we're kind of exposed. Yeah. So what I decided to do is I had a four ship of A-10s and I told them, it's like, hey, when we get to this point, I just want you to start running in over my shoulder. So they'd run in, pull off, run in, you know, two would pull off, three would pull off. In case just dry? I, yeah, just dry. In case something okay. happened, I could immediately get them eyes on and they're already in the attack. Yeah, uh, good thinking. So, so we we started doing that, and then I think when they we we crested and they opened up on us, and so I think it was see actually, I didn't know any of this. I had no idea about any of this stuff. That's all. Go ahead, so, keep going. Sorry. Yeah, it's, the book. I, I don't know. I heard the book said it was a lot. But anyway, I don't, I don't care about the book. I want yeah, to hear like what you don't Anyway, so they opened up on us, which we kind of expected. Right. Um, the I think it was number three of the four, like immediately saw him. So I cleared him and then he went guns and rockets and was, that was it. Like it was just literally nice. one, one airstrike and, and it got him. And, and those dudes had uh, a bunch of SEAL equipment and, and shit Oh like really? That. Oh yeah. Wow. But it was only like four or five dudes. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So we, we make it there about the same time Sergeant G makes it there. And, you know, we didn't have body bags. It, it was raining. It was, um, it, it was like, it was, very non-dramatic at that point. Yeah. 
Um, you, well, you eliminated the threat, and like there was yeah, it was it was, it was like, SSC we, at that we point. Literally, yeah, we were literally by the time we met up with with Sergeant G, by the time they made it to us, it was raining and cold, and we were at like I don't know eleven thousand feet or something. So we we were like building lean twos and and <laughs> like we literally eating in the. And of course, you know, they get there all tactical and the seals start shooting at trees and or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just so non dramatic. And then Sergeant that, G give you, give you a hard time for it? No, not really. I mean, he was, he was herding cats at that point. I mean, he was yeah, first time. Yeah. So he, he's, um, but uh, while we're up there, so about a half a day, we ran into some, some wood choppers about a half a day before we, we made it there and we hired their, um, their goats. Or their yeah the goats to to um, to haul our water and stuff so nice yeah and good idea I had a funny story about that so we're, we're like doing the you know stupid ranger thing and climbing straight up and trying to be tactical every, every time we crest the hill the goats in the the their herder would, would be there waiting on us and finally we got to the point where we're like just follow the goats you know yeah those but, guys can walk better than any of us anyway yeah yeah, so. yeah just follow them they're, they're so we follow we made it a lot lot quicker. But that's when we got there in um, the – because, remember, they had their ICOM radios, and then they they called up the one of the, girl, go, the, the guys that had the goats saying, hey, the dock is is down the bottom of the hill. And um, and I remember, Matt, when we were – when I was first um, – went with MAG, we had that free flight, and we flew over that, that area. Yep. So, so Matt and I got to fly over in an ISR bird, and I showed them nice. the area. <laughs> There's really only two houses there. There's not a village. It's just two houses where he was. And um, so, it, like, we had a team walk down. And, like, it was just it's so non it's n- non what, what the book was. Like, it was it, it was harder to get there um, than it was what, what whatever he said in the book. I never read the book, never seen the movie. Um, but f- from what I'm told, it was, you know, covered with the enemy. And, oh, and- the movie was, like, at the end of it, it was, like, a fiasco just like you know no. people running everywhere and fire sport assets doing their thing and helicopters and i yeah no. so so okay so you guys link up with g at the um and i know turn g from when i was at third bat like he was he was a um, matter of fact i think he was a co platoon sergeant i want to say he was he was yeah so i knew yeah he and i had done a lot of stuff together he's a great dude and i saw him again uh not to get away from your story but i saw him again uh we were when i was at rd we were in doing like a winter surge or something. And he was, I felt so bad for him and his guys. They were all walking up those hills in the middle of winter. And of course we're driving into comas and stuff, you know, so we're like, Hey, what's up? He didn't like that. Um, but no, he's, he's good, good people. So you guys met up with him at the crash site. And then did you like police up all everybody and all those the guys? Yeah, so Who they, did? they started recovering all the, all the bodies. We, we were, so the, um, there was some other stuff. So they, they dropped some bombs. Um, on who they thought did it. And so there was another mission that they wanted us to do was to go do BDA on another site. So oh, okay, um, uh, we had to get body bags and, and all this other stuff brought in and, and uh, policed up, um, finding, you know, sensitive items and yeah. all that crap. And, and it, it just, it, you know, you weren't totally sure that all the threat was gone, but after the initial, the initial airstrike, all, all the threat was gone. I mean, you know how those guys are. Once that happens, they're not. They don't. They're not very brave anymore. They turn. They turn from fighter into goat herder and her. You know, where yeah. shepherd. So we, we were only there with them, um, maybe about twenty four hours, and then they had us uh, walk to uh, BDA site. So we we walked even some more. We took um, actually, I think we took uh, two platoons with us because um, Captain Works, which I think he's a general now. Is um he played uh he was a linebacker at, at uh, the academy, but uh, we we walked with with them and again Harper led the led the walk so it was you know nonstop horrendous <laughs> just um, put your head down and keep up yeah yeah so and then do you so, ever meet Harper Wilmoth Matt do you ever know him Harper yeah I met him yeah yeah just yeah he actually, he actually retires this year he, oh he uh, does yeah yeah. Yeah, he's been up there 15 years now. He do 30 up there. He will. When did he leave regiment? Um, in nine, when he left. 2009. He's been up there all that time, man. Yeah. Yeah. Is he a sergeant major up there? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. 
<laughs> so did you ever make it to where Latrell was? Um, so we walked down the, the the ODA is one that actually linked up with them. And then they had uh, some, we walked down the bottom of the hill with them. Um, okay. But they like, it was like Matt seen it. It was, it was a house. Yeah. It was, it was so non-dramatic. Like the, it, it was just for them to write a book about it. Like it was just, it was just weird for us that, that it was such a big deal in the movie. And we're like, like that was non, like that was such a non. But you know, you know what though? You know, Hollywood is man. They get it. They yeah. don't like even Black Hawk Down that, you know, when I had the opportunity to speak to in, I was in the vicinity of Eversman, you know, and he, I heard him say something about like, yeah, that was, oh, and there was, who was that? Uh, I hate it that I can't remember this guy's name right now, but he was that fire sport guy from Seco. Man, you remember who I'm talking about? Anyway, the, even the guys that were there are like, yeah, it was just a kind of a conglomeration of, Everything oh, yeah. about Jeff. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 McLaughlin. <sighs> McLaughlin. Yeah. Great dude. Awesome guy. Um, he said he was he was one of the guys carrying litters. You know, yeah. and that he wasn't even they just they just kind of like mash everybody together, and make it a, a nice tight package for a movie, you know, or whatever. So I could see how maybe like they took Latrell's account and they're like, well, this we can't make it like this. Nobody's gonna come watch this movie if we just you know if it's lame at the end. So I they probably they pass through some other stuff in. So I watched him walk past me and it was, you know, we were still, we, we hadn't found all his team at, at that time. Um, and I mean, there's some details that I'll, I'll tell you, not over this forum, but I'll, I'll tell you <laughs> what, what really happened as far okay. as how we found some of his team. I, I, I may have told Matt, but the, um, I, I, it's hard to talk about this particular mission because there's their side of the story. Yeah already out there and published and in their their prs and that's exactly why i wanted this to happen because like i know i mean i had to hear about it when when i got to country i'm like oh yeah we're because we're like we hadn't heard about any of the stuff when we first got there and then we're like you know ripping out with you and um i didn't even understand the gravity of it when you told me about it before you guys left i was like Eh, all right. So you walked a little bit. Big deal, wuss. You know, whatever. So you know, I didn't understand. I didn't, didn't even, you know, I didn't even, I didn't understand what had happened. You know, so yeah. and then later on, well, I'm like, that's what happened. That's what was going on. Oh my god. Yeah. It's such was, a, it's it, such we a just, crazy. The same way. They're like, they're like, oh, like helicopter crash. I'm like, all right. So we start walking before, like, the, all the intel was trickling in as we're walking. I'm like, so I'm like getting some of this from the A10s and some from SAT, some from some from uh, um, HPW. And I'm like, I'm like, all right, there's. Like there may be more up there for us when we get there. So we're thinking we're just going to, you know, it wasn't just a crash. It was like, Oh, right. they got shot down and Oh, there's another, they're, they're, they were reacting to someone else. And yeah. 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 So it, it got to be, you know, so we started taking I'm like, all right, the closer we get, like we, we really, we, we got to get a little serious here. Cause it was like literally walking with your, you know, weapon on like, this is sucks, you know, head yeah. down. Cause I remember at the time I had the only dual tube knob, dual, dual tube nods, uh, that's when yeah. the Rangers still had the 14. So, yeah, yeah. So, um, I was like walking right behind um, Harper because I, I could see better. And <laughs> right. it, it was, it was just, it was just a cluster the whole time. But looking back on it, it was, it was, it, it was a tough mission, but it was, it was nothing like it was portrayed in the book at all. And that's kind of my, the way I look at it is that there was nobody else the fact that you said that some guys dropped out, some guys did some other stuff, the the nature of the way the guys we supported train, I could, it, it's like a no brainer. Like, yes, of course, that's what they did. Of course, that's is you know, they just kept going and they gave each other ideas on the way because what people fail to realize is that's just the way they are all the time. Like there, right. you do like a savage strike or you do some sort of injury somewhere and you know, you're just walking for days, like literally days, you know, with a, with no sleep and like no food and whatever. So yeah, if anybody was going to do it, you guys were the ones to do it for sure. Yeah, yeah, it, was, yeah it was. Like I said, it was. It, it was one of those. Any platoon would have done it. Any team, any RD team, team would have yeah. done it. It just. It was the right. The the regiment was the right group of dudes to to do that yeah. mission because just because of their mentality. Yeah.